This is dark matter. No, not the actual dark stuff, the little gray lines. And this is a black hole, or at least it's a simulation of one. See the blue region around the black hole? That's called the ergosphere, a spinning gravitational field so powerful it can suck these elusive dark matter particles into its gyre. What's the point? The ergosphere is like a gigantic particle accelerator. See those glowing dots? Gamma rays which is what dark matter particles become when they smash together and convert their mass into energy. Thanks, Einstein. They only show up on the left-hand side because the ergosphere spins so powerfully it pulls the fabric of space-time along with it. In other words, it's theoretically impossible for a particle to move the other way. Let's go back to the beginning. I never get tired of that swirling. Even though nobody knows much about dark matter, it's essential to our understanding of the universe, simply because there's so much of it. Like, 75% of the universe is dark matter. In order to confirm these simulations, NASA would need to train telescopes on black holes more than a million times more massive than our own sun. But the hard part? Telling which gamma rays come from that black hole and which are from the billion other gamma ray sources in the universe. Good luck, NASA.